Hello everybody. Welcome. Chuck Seligman here. It is winter break and you know on winter break there's something we do a lot. Well, one thing is we stay warm a lot, trying our best, but we tend to eat a lot. Thus, the importance of reading the book The Fat Cat. It's a Danish folk tale by Jack Kent. So let's go ahead and begin our story. There once was an old woman who was cooking some gruel. She had some business with a neighbor woman and asked the cat if he would look after the gruel while she was gone. I'll be glad to, said the cat. Look how enthusiastic that cat looks. When the old woman had gone, the gruel looked so good that the cat ate it all. And the pot too. When the old woman came back, she said to the cat, Now what has happened to the gruel? Look at the concern on her face. Oh, said the cat, I ate the gruel, and I ate the pot too, and now I'm going to also eat you. And he ate the old woman. He went for a walk, and on the way he met Skohottentot. And Skohottentot said to him, What have you been eating, my little cat? You are so fat. And the cat said, I ate the gruel, and the pot, and the old woman too, and now I'm going to also eat you. So he ate Skohottentot. Afterwards, he met Skolinkinlot. Skolinkinlot said, What have you been eating, my little cat? You are so fat. I ate the gruel, and the pot, and the old woman too, and Skolhottentot, said the cat, and now I am going to also eat you. And so he ate Skolinkinlot. Next he met five birds and a flock, and they said to him, What have you been eating, my little cat? You are so fat. I ate the gruel, and the pot, and the old woman too, and Skohottentot, and Skolinkinlot, and now I'm going to also eat you. And he ate the five birds in a flock, minus a few feathers. Later he met seven girls dancing, and they, too, said to him, Gracious, what have you been eating, my little cat? You're so fat. And the cat said, I ate the gruel, and the pot, and the old woman too, and Skohottentot, and Skolinkinlot, and five birds in a flock, and now I'm also, or I am going, to also eat you. And he ate the seven girls dancing. Not very nice cat. What do you think of this cat? Hmm? When he had gone a little farther, he met a lady with a pink parasol. And she, too, said to him, Heavens, what have you been eating, my little cat? You were so fat. And the cat said, I ate the gruel and the pot and the old woman, too and Skohottentot, and Skolinkinlot, and five birds in a flock, and seven girls dancing, and now I'm going to also eat you. And he ate the lady with the pink parasol. A little later, he met a parson with a crooked staff. Dear me, what have you been eating, my little cat? You're so fat. Oh, said the cat, I ate the gruel, and the pot, and the old woman too, and Skohottentot, and Skolinkinlot, and five birds and a flock, seven girls dancing, and a lady with a pink parasol, and now I'm going to also eat you. And he ate the parson with the crooked staff. Look at that belly. Hmm. 
Next, he met a woodcutter with an axe. My, what have you been eating, my little cat? You're so fat. I ate the gruel, and the pot, and the old woman too, and Skohatentot, and Skolinkinlot, and five birds in a flock, and seven girls dancing, and the lady with the pink parasol, and the parson with the crooked staff, and now I am also going to eat you. No, you are wrong, my little cat, said the woodcutter. He took his axe and cut the cat open, and out jumped the parson with the crooked staff, and the lady with the pink parasol, and the seven girls dancing, and the five birds in a flock, and Skolinkinlot, and Skolhatintot. And the old woman took her pot and her gruel and went home with them. And lastly, the woodcutter took care of the cat, gave him a nice band-aid. So remember, feed your cat when it's hungry, and don't give it the responsibility of taking care of your pot of gruel when you have business to do with the neighbor. Hope you enjoyed this story. It's one of my favorites. Thank you.